A week has passed since the Pennsylvania primary, and we're still not any closer to determining a winner in the Republican race for Senate. The latest tally shows TV doctor Mehmet Oz with a razor-thin lead of just under 1,000 votes over his rival, David McCormick. Counties in Pennsylvania have until 5 p.m. Eastern to submit their unofficial results to the Secretary of State. NBC News correspondent Dasha Burns joins us now from Philadelphia with the latest on the race. Dasha, good morning. So where do we stand right now one week after this primary? We know David McCormick's campaign took some action yesterday. What can you tell us about that? Yeah, Joe, bear with me here. More twists and turns in this race that has still not come to any sort of conclusion. There was a court decision, a Third Circuit court decision on Friday about an election in 2021 that could have an impact on this race. The court ruled that undated ballots, ballots where voters neglected to put a date on the envelope, could be counted in a November 2021 race. Now, what does that mean for this election? Well, the McCormick campaign says it means that undated ballots in this race, those mail-ins where voters didn't put a date, should be counted. The Oz campaign is arguing the opposite. Now the McCormick campaign has filed a lawsuit to compel counties to, in fact, count those, uh, count those ballots. What will that mean? How many of those ballots are out there? We still don't know those exact numbers or how much it could impact uh, the ultimate outcome. But we know that this race is incredibly close, less than a thousand votes separating the two candidates. So there is a world in which this lawsuit and this fight over what to do with these ballots uh, could could impact the outcome here, Joe. OK, so we were just talking about former President Trump and his influence. We know that he endorsed Dr. Yeah. Oz earlier in this campaign. Where does the Pennsylvania GOP stand in the race? Are they favoring one candidate at, over another at this point or are just sitting back and waiting to see who actually wins? Well, so Trump endorsed Oz, and he's been saying that Oz should go ahead and claim victory here. The Oz campaign has not done so. The Pennsylvania GOP hasn't necessarily picked a favorite candidate, but they have sided with Oz on this battle over those undated ballots, saying that they should not be counted. The RNC did the same, actually. Their uh, chair, Ronna McDaniels, was on Fox News uh, over the weekend, saying that these ballots shouldn't be counted. Uh, overall, the Republican Party seems to be uh, pushing for leaving those ballots out, um, tossing them, and not counting those votes, Joe. All right, so let's talk about the process. What are the next steps once the counties do submit those results to the state? Are we expecting we'll get those numbers soon, or will we have the recount first, considering yeah. the margin right now? So here's where we're at. By 5 p.m. today, counties have to submit their unofficial results to the Department of State. Then tomorrow, uh, we will have a very clear picture of just how close this race is and whether or not there will be a recount. Most likely, there will be. So tomorrow, the candidate who is trailing has the option to decline the recount, to say, let's just call it now. It's probably not going to happen, considering how much money both of these campaigns have poured into this, how hard both uh, campaigns are fighting. On Thursday, the Secretary of State will order a recount. And from there, June 1st is the latest that a recount can start. Once the recount starts, they have five days to wrap the whole thing up. So if we're looking at June 7th at the latest that we should have uh, an outcome here, hopefully <laughs> for all our sakes, <laughs> it's sooner than that. But that is the absolute deadline, Joe. Or another curveball be thrown and who knows how long this is going to go for. So, That's all right. right. Dasha Burns, thank you for breaking it all down. We appreciate it. Hallie Jackson now is going to broadcast live from Georgia for the primary election coverage starting at 5 p.m. Eastern tonight. Hopefully that one won't have a week's long recount. And 8 p.m. Eastern tonight, Chuck Todd and Kristen Welker are going to host in-depth coverage and analysis of election results in Alabama, Georgia, and more. You can watch the Meet the Press election night special tonight. All of that right here on NBC News Now. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.